Sense too. It's patterned after uh, Thomas Paine's essay in the 1776, mm -hmm. uh, Common Sense. Uh -huh. And so what that, three out of the four people on the, uh, in the colonies read that essay. Uh -huh. All right, well, what it did, it shifted their thinking from seeing themselves as British colonial citizens to becoming American national citizens. So and out of that came the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, which secured our existence at the level of law rather than at some uh, whim of some king or some ruler, see. We created a whole new paradigm of government and society, mm -hmm. all right? Now, um, this is called common sense too, and it's the idea to show the superiority of organizing a global nation, a constitutional global nation here that will do the same for us as the Constitution did for the, uh, for the colonies, see? That the idea that we have reached a historical point of development it is time for us to make a planetary nation out of the existing countries that are here, and um, we can take the trillion dollars a year, $25,000 a second. The trillion dollars a year we're now sinkholing in guns, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, clean up the environment, educate our kids, you know. Uh, Eisenhower said that uh, every fighter plane is bought with a half a million bushels of wheat. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, it's, it's the idea is that the idea that we live in countries, the idea that there's not enough to go around, the idea that we're different races and all this stuff has now been made myth and this new information base. See, I wear this button that has a picture of the earth on it. All right, well, the reason I wear that is because that was the first photograph we had of the planet and there are no dotted lines on it. Is that what we see now is that we are a planet in space and it's just us on it. You know, right? So um, what we do here is up for grabs. But the idea that we live in countries, that one's, that one's gone. You know, I mean, countries aren't bad. I mean, it helps you know where to send the mail, you know, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, but to spend all of our time, energy, and resources and kill off our young in order to maintain this idea that that dotted line has any meaning, you know, well, it's now gotten to the point. And now we, we're either going to move beyond that, you see, or there's going to be some person who will get a hold of a nuclear weapon or biological weapons or whatever and uh, you know it, it does not bode well for the planet to maintain this idea that we live in these separate competing countries. Now um, the third uh, step is the creation of uh, economically tying the planet together. When you uh, study the uh, process of nation building is that the first area becomes to get tied together economically. All right now uh, Bucky Fuller came up with a study in a think tank session he called World Game. And he found out the difference between the have and the have nots is the presence or absence of electricity. That when electricity comes into an area, hunger disappears, population explosion stops, because people have power to do what we do with it. You know, you take electricity away from us and we're a third world country. All right, so that he also found out that since 1945, people have been interlocking grids together. And so that uh, as the computers grew and eventually developed an internet, what we're seeing now is the potential of interlocking all the world's existing electrical grids into one system and extending them to provide electricity to the whole world. All right, now at that point, you'll see the end of hunger, you'll see the end of poverty, you'll see a lot of things where people will be able to upgrade their standard of living. Now, the beautiful part about it is, is that one side of the planet is always facing the sun. See, now we receive one... Uh, we receive in one day from the sun more energy than we burn in a year in uh, fossil nuclear fuels. So what we're looking at here is, that, see, the sun is turning matter into energy at the rate of 5 million tons a minute. I mean, there's no energy shortage here. See, what the shortage is here is between our ears. We have the technology now to harvest this power and use it to... What technology is that? Oh, my God. I mean, the, uh, Bucky talked about when he, uh, he talked about the global grid. He said, well, you could line the seacoast of the continents mm -hmm. of the planet with little small tidal generators. Mm -hmm. And they've got a little basketball-sized float on them. They just kind of bob up and down on the water, generate a little bit of electricity, and then that would be fed into the grid. Mm -hmm. That system alone would re replace the electricity we're using right now. All right? Well, I mean... 20 years or so ago, they had a system like that at Manhattan Beach, California, mm -hmm. but they said that it, that it didn't really produce much energy. Yeah, I know, but on a global level. See, what you're talking, you're about, talking, is, about, you're talking about a concept that's called synergetics. 
See, this is what synergy is what Bucky came up with. He said, if you take an isolated unit here and an isolated unit here, well, they only have so much possibility. Mm -hmm. He said, now, if you get them working cooperatively, what happens is a third presence comes into existence. It opens up possibilities that aren't available to you as long as you got them separated. Hydrogen, oxygen. You stick them together and you got water. Now, what comes out of the existence of water, you know, is unbelievable, but it's not possible. It's not there as long as it's, it's uh, separated. All right, now, so one little spot in California, right, all right, but you go around the world, you see, and you got the tidal, you got wind. Um, the United Nations just did a study about the wind potential of the planet, and it is unbelievable. There's an island like Sri Lanka or something like that. They receive enough wind to provide 10 times the amount of electricity they got going on right now. Um, I mean, it goes on like that. See, you got tidal, you got geothermal, you got wind, and then the solar itself. All right. So, um, you know, it's not a technological problem. It's a, it's a consciousness problem. See, it's a, or um, what uh, John Hunter said, there are no problems, just solutions. All right, so that it's not. So happy we alive, we together can survive. Stop the bullshit, stop the lies, and now's the time to legalize. Tell me, brother, tell me true, what the hell we gonna gonna do? Remember the days We saw purple haze One and one And one is three Hey, hey, baby, what you do to me? We so happy We alive We together can survive Mother Nature Heaven sent Don't belong to God Hey there sister, what's the plan? Do you really, really understand? Remember the days We saw purple haze One and one, and one is three Hey, hey, baby, what you do to me? We so happy, we alive, we together can survive. Stop the bullshit, stop the lies, now's the time to legalize. Half the world up in smoke, where on earth can we take a tough Remember the days We saw purple haze One and one And one is three Hey, hey, baby, what you do to me? Human nature, full and free Modifies reality Open up, inner flower Peace and love Inner power, open up, inner flower, peace and love, inner, inner power. Remember the days, we saw purple haze, one and one, and one is three. Hey, hey, baby, what you do to 